Hello, this is Hector Villatoro. I am the broker for RB Realty. And in this video, we want to provide some important information that is going to help you save some money when it comes to doing a buying a home. And whenever we want to talk about when is the time to do a locking rate. Basically, what you do is that once you buy a home, you need to you apply for a mortgage. And as you probably know, the interest rate fluctuates. And many lenders, especially professional lenders, that's why I always tell my homeowners, my home buyers, to have that, uh, my home buyer to have that always in mind, and that have a very experienced loan officer all the time. Very important because the loan officer have a lot of in inside information that can share it to you regarding the forecast for the interest rate. What I mean by that, once you go into contract, you fill up the application and you start to do your loan, loan process. In that time frame, as long as the, how long you're going to be closing, you, is your thinking, is your lender think that it's going to take, you're going to be closing in 30, 40 days, 50, 60 days. It's a good idea is the interest rate for whatever reason they go down temporarily because they go according to Wall Street, you'll be able to, you'll be able to create a lock in the rate. Why, that is, why is that important? Because when you lock in the rate, basically you're going to, basically you're going to secure, that's going to give you a peace of mind that the interest rate, let's say you lock in interest, interest rate for 5%, and tomorrow something happened, a better report come up, and the interest rate goes up to seven. Since you're already lacking the rate, you don't have to worry about it. So that's the important, the long term, that can help you save a lot of money. That's the purpose of this video, basically, to have, to have that in mind or ask your lender, when is the right time for you to lock in the rate when, you're doing the, when you apply for a mortgage, when you're buying a home. It's very crucial to have somebody that knows because if the interest rates are very low, they increase a little bit, no big deal. But in changing markets, it's always good to secure a loan, a rate, an interest rate, at the lowest possible. Now, the benefit is that if the interest goes up, you already have the peace of mind that the, the interest rate is not going to change. Now, this, the downside is that for whatever reason, the interest goes down. If you lock in the rate, five <clears> percent, <throat> and they went to four and a half, you, uh, you will miss out because you are already locking. But sometimes it's better to be to be prepared with that uh, rather than just trying to navigate it without certainty. So many people, a lot of uh, many buyers, they just wanted to keep that in interest rate in that level that they secured. Now. There is a fee for that, but it works because on the long run, if you're saving a couple hundred dollars on a monthly basis, you're gonna make a lot of difference. Now, also, if for whatever reason you don't close on the safety day, you need to get an extension. That extension, it costs some amount of money, so that will increase a little bit the closing cost. But it's all, again, you have to see the risk or the benefit. And if the benefit is greater, you can go right through it. And you have to understand also, you make sure that you are putting your full effort, your lender is putting your full effort to close in the time frame. This locking rate normally take from uh, 30 to 60 days. After that, you need to get an extension. But in any case, you have to have that, you have to have that in mind. And interest rate are very important if they increase and you're not lacking the rate, you might have to pay more. However, important to understand how it works as well as the potential drawback. In reality, I just want you to know that I want to bring you as much information as possible for whatever reason I'm not able to cover something or you have an additional question. Do not hesitate to call, contact. My name is Hector Viatoro, I'm the broker for RB Realty. We have a strong team together uh, that we work together and we'll be happy to help you. Also, in our next video, we'll talk about once you're a homeowner and you wanna do a refinance, we'll talk about how to refinance a mortgage 
and what's the best possible things that you can, what will be the best, the step that you need to take? Or many questions that a lot of my, a lot of my client has asked me. You so you know, many of my conversation with you, many of my videos will be talking about question or covering question that a lot of my clients have asked through the years. And I'm happy to share that. And don't get me wrong and I'm saying I will cover everything, but when I want to do it the best possible. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. If you see some value in my videos, please click subscribe and follow me on the social media. I'll be happy to keep you posted. And whenever you want to buy or sell a house, please, you know where to come. My name is Hector Villatoro for an RV Realty. 631-617-5135. Thank you very much.